Hello, this is Paul with p a Archery. I want to show you a new product that we've come up with this year. Um, we call it the Terminal Trauma. Uh, we, have, we offer a two-prong and a three-prong. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble it, how to use it, and how to set it up with your broadheads. First, I'm going to demonstrate the two-prong Terminal Trauma. When you receive your package, they'll be pressed flat. What you need to do is take your arrow with a field point, unscrew the field point, and attach the terminal trauma right behind your uh, field point. And then you're going to screw the arrow on. And when you have it like this, you're going to be careful to take a pair of pliers and just grab the top of the point. Just don't grab the connecting arm back here. Just grab the point like this, and you simply just twist forward. And you do the same to this side. Just grab the piece gently and twist forward and then now you're set up to go behind any any arrowhead you want and uh, I'm telling you when they hit something they <laughs> they tear it up this is the version of the three prong terminal trauma uh, what this does is the same fashion as the two prong what you'll do is take your field point and the reason we use a field point to twist these is so there's no danger of getting cut with a razor blade and it gives you the room to be able to twist them. So what you'll do is you'll just grab that the, the terminal at the point and just twist. You'll grab the terminal at the point and just twist. This will be the setup for any four blade, like I have here a Muzzy Phantom, a two blade mechanical, an executioner, or a two blade fixed blade, which I have a badger for an example here. What you'll do is you'll take your arrow that's already been twisted, you'll pop the field point off, and I'll start with the badger. What you'll do is you'll put it right behind the badger broadhead, you'll screw the arrow on, and you turn these close to the blade, and then you tighten it down, and then that, that's the action that you'll have when it's close to the blades. So this way the broadhead will spin in cutting, make an entrance for this, and then these fold back, and do their damage. Next I'll show you the steps for the Muzzy Phantom. A four blade requires a two prong terminal trauma. What you'll do is put this behind your main blades you'll screw it on and then you'll leave it approximately an eighth inch off of your blades and be careful as you tighten but you snug it up just like that so this way that's sitting there so when the head cuts in t into the animal it'll twist and it'll uh, open up and tear everything up. This is going to be the three prong terminal trauma attachment to a broadhead. What you'll do is you'll take your field point off again. You'll carefully take your, uh, in this one I have a Winsel Woodsman and we'll put that behind the Winsel Wood Woodsman but you want to, if you have a right hand helical you want to be on this side of the blade as, as your arrow flies in that direction. If you have a left wing helical on your uh, arrows, you want to be on this side because you want to be on the, op on the opposite side of the way the arrow twists if it cuts in. So this way the, the hide doesn't slow down the terminal trauma at all because the object is to get it inside for it to do its most damage. And then you leave that about an eighth inch off of the, uh, the woodsman and you tighten that up and that's the way you want it to be. The terminal trauma was designed to not be sharp. It was designed to rip and tear rather than a cut. They fly good, they're easy to use, and the great point about them is you can use them over and over again. As your points bend back, they will deploy in opening in a fashion like this. And they'll sit back on the arrow like this. The arrow can be shot again in a quick situation if you got a bunch of pheasant or squirrels that you're, you're hunting after. You can bend them back like that and reshoot it. But they're designed to be able to be have the pliers put back on them and to be bent back up into position so that they can go through their whole expansion again. And you can get several shots out of them depending on what you hit. So uh, they're a pretty versatile head. They last a long time, and they are devastating on creatures. Uh, we've had a lot of great success, and all the people that we've uh, had shoot them for us have uh, really liked them. 
The terminal traumas can be put behind any head you choose to shoot for whatever game you're going after. Uh, here is the blunt force trauma by P&A Archery and we've had a little problem with them skipping because they were really designed for a flu flu arrow but with the terminal trauma behind the blunt force trauma you can shoot a straight fletched arrow and not have it skip it becomes like a grabber when it goes to go through the grass or whatever and it'll stand your arrow back up or bend them out of shape and it also hits real hard so uh, give it a shot behind any head you have and let us know how it works for you thank you for watching they can be found at three rivers archery